Hello, my name is Tanya from Nana's Crafty Home. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to crochet the strawberry stitch. This stitch is part of my Spring Rhapsody Blanket Crochet Along Stitch Tutorial Series. It really is just using basic stitches. Uh, we are working half double crochets in the same stitch to create the bobble, and then we're pulling those stitches together by working half double crochet decrease. So we're working five half double crochets together to pull this bobble in creating this beautiful texture. For today's tutorial I am using two different colors of a worsted weight Red Heart Super Saver yarn and I'm also using a size I or a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Let's go ahead and get started. This stitch is worked in multiples of three plus one for your foundation chain and my sample will be 31 chains. One, two, three, four. For row one, I'm going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in each chain to the end. I finished working a single crochet in every chain. For row two, I'm going to turn and chain one and work a half double crochet in that same stitch, the base of that chain one. Now I'm going to be using both of my yarn colors for this row. So I'm going to be carrying the yarn I'm not working with during this row. And I'm going to switch back and forth between my colors working the stitches. Before I complete that first half double crochet, I'm going to change to color B. And I'm going to begin carrying my second color, which is that green. And my next stitch, I'm going to work five half double crochets with color B. And I'm going to be working over my green my color A here. So work five half double crochets in that same stitch. This is my fifth half double crochet. I don't want to complete that stitch. I want to complete the stitch with my green. So I'm going to drop color B, pick up color A, and pull through on that last stitch. So now I can begin using color A again. I'm going to work over and carry color B, holding it to the back of my work, and I'm going to work a half double crochet in the next two stitches. And on that final half double crochet, I'm going to bring in color B and finish that stitch. Carrying color A, working over it, five half double crochets in the next stitch. And that is my repeat for this row. You're going to work five half double crochets in color B Finish your last half double crochet with your color A and then work two half double crochets, one half double crochet in the next two stitches. And that is your repeat through this row. Most important thing is just carrying your non-working yarn throughout and then picking up yarn as you change colors. So just continue on in your stitch, repeat through the end of this row. When I've gotten to the end of the row, I've worked five half double crochets in that second to the last stitch, and I'm going to work a half double crochet in my final stitch here. So for row three, I'm going to turn and I'm just going to be using my color A here, my green, and I'm going to chain one 
and half double crochet in that same stitch at the base of that chain one. I'm now going to work a half double crochet five together over the next five stitches. And to work a half double crochet five together, you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop. You're going to have 11 loops left on your hook. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And to complete your stitch, you're going to yarn over and pull through all 11 loops on your hook. And just doing that already pulls that stitch together. But I'm going to work a half double crochet in the next two stitches, and that's going to make a lot of difference. So half double crochet in the next, one half double crochet in the next. And see how that pulled that stitch together? It pushed that stitch out, creating this big bobble. And that will now fix this row as we move throughout this row. And that is your stitch repeat. You're going to work five half double crochets together over the five half double crochets from the previous row, working one half double crochet in the next two stitches. And you're just gonna repeat that all the way down your row. When you get to the end of your row, I've worked five half double crochets together. I have one stitch remaining half double crochet in that last stitch. And let's take a look at that. See how it pulled all of those stitches together? I've lost all the wonkiness that I had previously, and now they truly do look like little strawberries in my crochet. So now we're gonna move on to row four, and we're going to be working another row of our strawberries. So we're going to be working with both of our yarn colors for this row, carrying our non-working yarn throughout. So I'm going to turn to start, chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch, and half double crochet in the next stitch. I'm not going to finish, and I'm going to bring in and finish this stitch with my color B. I'm going to carry color A and I'm going to work five half double crochets in the next stitch. I'm not going to finish that final half double crochet. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. And I'm going to repeat that on down, not finishing that second half double crochet, pulling in color B to finish the stitch five half double crochets in the next stitch. So continue that on down your row. After I've worked two of those half double crochets, I have one stitch left and I'm gonna work a half double crochet in that final stitch. I'm going to fasten off color B. And now for row five, I'm going to turn, chain one, half double crochet, in that same stitch, half double crochet in the next two stitches, and then half double crochet five together over the next five. Row 
one half double crochet in the next two and half double crochet five together and that is your repeat for this row when I get to the end of the row I'm going to have two stitches remaining half double crochet in those last two stitches and look how beautifully textured this is how far those stitches pop out in your pattern just gorgeous continue repeating rows two through five in order to get to the size desired in your pattern I've worked up a few more rows and you can see just how gorgeous this stitch works up I mean it's just beautifully beautifully textured these uh, half double crochet bobbles really pop out from your fabric and this combination of stitches together really does give this the appearance of strawberries. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. Thanks so much for being with me. As always, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss a new video. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter, and you can reach out to me at nanascraftyhome at gmail.com. If you'd like to check out more of my free tutorials and free crochet patterns, head on over to nanascraftyhome.com. Thanks everyone for being here. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.